Hey guys, uh, right, just wanted to give you a quick tip on uh, hedging. If, uh, if you need to reprofile your hedges, and uh, I mean, in this particular case, uh, the neighbors have cut down the height on their hedge without this lady's permission. Um, and I started looking at tidying up this hedge, getting the faces cut and get the tops done. Um, and then part of the way through she went, oh no, 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 actually can you cut the whole thing to the same height? And obviously it's a lot more work to do, but what you don't do is hack straight in at the same level. So I started in the corner down there, fold the line round. So what you want to do is where you've got the new height that you want to work from is actually cut in a ledge all the way around first. So you can see behind me this kind of little dark line. That's obviously the old level and here is a new level of the cut. And what I've done is just cut my way around the whole of the garden and back up this side all the way up to cut the new level right the way to the top. And then you go back in at the same level right the way through to the back of the hedge and then come back all the way around and then finish it off. If you try and do um, the whole depth on one part and then do the whole thing all the way along, it's very, very difficult to actually keep a nice tidy level and you end up with, and it looks a bit crappy afterwards. Um, you can fix it, you can smooth it off, but you end up being at the level you didn't want to be at in the first place because you end up having to cut into the height. So what happens is you choose the height and as you're doing it, especially if it's a, a long pole one like I have, you end up kind of, your arms go and the length of it pulls it down and you end up with dips. I have got a tiny one over here and I've trimmed it off so it's okay now. But, so if you look, that's come out relatively flat and what I'll do is if I can stick them together I'll um, see if I can do a, a quick surround video on this when it's finished so you can see what it looks like when it's done the one at the back's really really difficult I might not be able to get that done today because I actually got to do it from the neighbor's garden unfortunately that garden is, the house is still on the same road as this and the road goes down there and around the corner I have to go to his garden and then come back up which is almost a half a mile walk up his garden. His garden is massive. Um, it's, you could fit, you can nearly fit a full football pitch inside his garden, it's so big. Um, so, but that hedge is about, it's about 12 foot deep. Might even be 15. I did take some off the back of it, so it might be down to about 12 foot. So I might not be able to get all the height this side, but what I hopefully I can do is get most of it done and even if I lean in with the long pole hedge trim, I still can't get to the back of it, it's so deep. Um, but I'll leave that for now, and I'll get this finished off. Hopefully I can get it done before dark today, because there's a lot here. Um, and the volume of this stuff's probably, I don't know, two, two van loads. There's a lot to come out, it does bulk up quite a lot, because um, it doesn't go into bulk bags that easily, but it's gonna be at least 10 bulk bags, I think. Normally when I do this garden and I'm just trimming, um, it takes at least four bolt bags. So having to take up to two feet off in some places on hedges that are anywhere between three feet and 12 feet deep, it's a lot more volume, but um, I'll know that by the end. Right, I'll catch you guys in a bit and I'll show you what it's like at the end. See you later. Hey guys, right, so, um, no, I didn't get the whole hedge finished in one day. There was just far too much to do. Uh, in the end, I thought it was gonna take 10, but it actually took 12 bolt bags and two van loads to actually take to the farm and get rid of. But all finished now. So I've tied it up that side. And we're all done. Right then up here. <sighs> Good. Also, don't know if you can see the stripes actually. All the grass is done now. So this garden's done. So this hedge is now good for the rest of the year. Um, because of the time of year it's been cut, the uh, laurels won't need cutting again this year, but it should be fine. Um, and it should be good. The uh, top will start to leaf up again, probably get some leafing up this year, um, but it'll start to fill out again properly as of next spring. But there you go, so profiling. Um, in conclusion, when you find your new level, just trim that level all the way around your hedge first, then start cutting your way in once you've make sure you've got a nice tidy straight line that you want to work from and it's as simple as that it's simple it's hard work but it's simple 
Um, my shoulders really ache quite a lot now from that, especially it's the back hedge that's the problem. It's got to lean so far in and you've got such hard work to lift all the branches out. Fortunately, it was only a couple of feet and most of the branches, I mean, they were largest ones with that size. Most of them were quite small. Um, and that's it. So, yes, thumbs up if you like the video. Um, if you want any more advice on this, let me know in the comments. Uh, remember to subscribe, which should pop up up this side. <laughs> I can't remember now which side is. It's one of the two sides. There's a subscribe, there's a new video, and there's... Oh, yeah, the website is behind here. Um, and also, um, hopefully what I might do, I might put this video up here for the existing subscribers video that I've put up, because there's a poll on the end of that one to um, see what people would like for me to do for the rest of the year. There's a few options on there. If you could quickly pop onto that one and click on there for me, that would be excellent. And hopefully I'll hear from you soon. All right, cheers, bye.